Hello Darts Nuts, I'm going to do a review of the recently released Gary Anderson Darts. Uh, this is the same like Phase 3 model but this is the, the new limited edition Premier League version and uh, this is to commemorate Gary Anderson's two Premier League wins from uh, 2011 and 2015. As you can see it comes in a new nice slimline box, nice blue and white colours, obviously signifying the Scottish um, inheritance. And get them out of the packet. Now these are available in 23 grams, and there's also a soft tip version available in 18 grams, and they're 90% uh, tungsten dart. And as you can see on the pack, it says you get some Gary Anderson signature flights, gripper three shafts, Gary Anderson signature engraving, winner rings, which is on the barrel and on the back it just tells you about uh, Gary Anderson Premier League Champion 2015 the O2 Arena London 21st of May 2015 Gary Anderson hits double 20 to become Premier League Champion for the second time and add to his World Champion title so got um, some different style packaging here inside there's I don't know, it feels kind of like cardboard and plastic. It's hard to say. It has like a plasticky feel, but it also feels like cardboard. And there's like a form insert stuck on there. It's quite a tough uh, piece of packaging, that. Quite interesting uh, thing. And You've got this little triangular point protector which is probably specific just for the packaging. And as you can see the darts have got this um, blue titanium coating on. Um, do I see how much the cost? It cost £45. And on the top part of the barrel there's these two silver rings which are to signify the two Premier League wins and you've got your short gripper shafts and these Gary Anderson signature flights so we'll have a close look at the barrels ok now. here's a quick look at the darts and I'll put the detailed picture up as usual as you can see it's fitted with quite a short silver point and it's got a fairly short bull nose and it's got this very uh, nice blue tie cotton seems to be a popular cotton and as I've reviewed these before you probably remember but the grip I wouldn't say it's overly aggressive but there's a fair amount of grip to it probably maybe high medium round about there kind of a double ringed kind of style and get in close focus and then up the rear half of the barrel you've got these two um, silver rings which obviously uh, to denote the two Premier League wins and then you've got the unicorn logo and some flat normal style rings and these two smooth bands, one with the unicorn logo and the other with the Gary Anderson signature and either side of the signature you've got some very small etching that says 2011 and on the other side I guess that says 2015 it's a bit hard to see through the camera very fine etching on the barrel there it's a style of barrel that seems to suit a lot of uh, throws, uh, grips I should say. Classic straight barrel style. Certainly works well for Gary Anderson. And 
yeah, I've got some short Gripper 3 shafts and these Premier League Gary Anderson signature flights all in quite a nice style blue and white obviously to go with the Scottish flag if you don't know well you should know about Gary Anderson Scottish but I should imagine most people know that but there you go I'll let you look at the darts for a little bit then I'll put the detailed picture up Okay, here's the detailed picture. Here's the detailed look at the darts. It's got a 28mm silver point. There's a small bull nose of about 3.1mm wide. And then the main part of the barrel is made up of this double ring grip. That's about 37.7mm wide. And then you've got a band with the unicorn logo on, which is about 3.8mm wide. And then there's a series of flat rings and grooves which is about 4.2 millimeters wide and then there's another smooth section at the end with the Gary Anderson signature on that's 3.6 millimeters wide the overall length is 52.3 millimeters and the width is 6.3 millimeters all right then I'll just do some measurements along the barrel first of all the Barrel length 52.32 millimeters, and it looks as if it's pretty much even width all the way along. Just measure near the front, that's 6.39, maybe just around about 6.3. I think it depends how you catch the edges of the rings so, and then where it's not as edgy it goes a little bit thinner on that very end section so it's probably about 6.3 6.4 I'll just uh, measure the nose just to double check it see if I can get exactly on the edge of a ring yeah so 6.39 so that's your width at the widest part. Right, I'll compare the weight of the barrels then, see how they match. That one is 23.11 grams. And that one is 23.11. And that one is 23.9, so I'll just do that again because it, yeah, 23.9. So it's pretty closely matched there. And the weight of the full setup as it's applied is 24.52 grams. Okay, I'll see if I can find the balance point. It's probably going to be fairly close to the middle I should imagine with nothing attached maybe just slightly front of centre just around about there and with the supplied setup it moves I would say probably pretty much in the centre there so that's the detailed look at the darts Let's give them a throw and see how they go.
I'm just on the darts pretty close to the front of the barrel uh, it's just where my grip naturally goes really I think it's probably going to be better balanced around there like or just in front of the center but uh, I just feel like that's my natural point with these and um, from there it's not flying too bad uh, just got a little bit of fishtail not much but uh, usually after a while when I've been throwing them and I tend to eliminate that so but it was uh, staying pretty much in the same course that I was uh, throwing it on but um, I tr I, for me personally I like to get the dart as smooth as possible through the air so it might take a little bit more practice with them but um, I'm just going to move my grip up just a little bit I'm, I was quite pretty much on the nose of the barrel I'm just going to move it up just a little bit to see how that feels fish tail in there, very very slight little bit Flying smoother there, but I didn't get it very straight. Yes, yeah, it's starting to fly a bit better now. But obviously, some darts take a bit of practice getting the hang of it. So I'm going to try that uh, grip around the middle now. Um, one thing I have noticed when I've been throwing them, um, I don't know whether it's the blue cotton, but it doesn't feel quite as grippy as what the natural version did. It's hard to say, but um, it almost has like a kind of a slight glossy feel to it. I don't know if that's the right word to describe, but um, I think the natural version was probably a touch grippier but anyway I'll just have a go from that middle section just feels a bit weird throwing it from there but if you're a natural middle gripper then it'll probably be okay I didn't see any fish down there One more go, see if I can get the end of it. Yeah, I think if you're a middle gripper, it, it flies pretty well from there. Nicely balanced. Probably suit any grip, really. I mean, straight barrels often suit any grip. But uh, just for the sake of experiment, and then I'm just going to try gripping it around the end. I'm not going to go right to the end, just on where them silvery rings are. I was going to say that's a fluke and then that one went in and then that but <laughs> I think it probably was a fluke but having said that it, it flew very stable there which is surprising because it usually spins all over when I throw from the rear here we go back to the normal Now if I was a natural rear gripper I think that would be flying very nice. Probably better than the middle. One more go. Mm. 
So probably suit middle and rear grip is equally as good and um, it was a bit strange that it seemed to fly better for me at the middle than it did at the front. Um, the, the, the dart was, because I throw quite loopy and the dart was going very steady from that rear grip but uh, it probably felt a little bit better balanced in the middle. Most darts feel a little bit off balance with my very front grip but uh, it's just how I naturally grip it so there's not a lot I can do about that but uh, usually I can change the setup to suit me but anyway I'm just going to go back to my front grip now go it's the Gary Anderson limited edition Premier League darts with the blue titanium cotton it's a very nice looking dart so a good addition to the phase 3 Anderson range and especially if you like to collect uh, Gary Anderson darts it's a nice set to have so that's the end of the review thanks for watching